My name is Wendy Antonucci, and I am thrilled to join you here at Scrapbook News and Review. I wanted to share a little today about my style and some of the tricks I use. I have come to the conclusion that I am a simple scrapper. I know that can be a turnoff for some, but I have a clean page with plenty of white space. I love for my photo and journaling page. I love to use little details that further my subject matter. Some days, if my photo calls for it, I am a messy scrapper. Other days, I might be a distressed simple scrapper. And still other days, I might be an elegant simple scrapper. I love that my style allows me the freedom to scrap the way my subject needs. I first decided what my style was by looking at my wall where I hang my layouts as I finish them. I have found that sometimes I can spot something that is missing this way, or sometimes I totally fall in love with what I've created. As I began studying my wall, I realized that my style was very much the same in each of my creations, and they all had a lot of white space. That was when the light bulb went off, and I was able to fully embrace the way I create. When I create, I have a set of products that I have decided to work with, and then I pull pictures with similar colors and ideas. I then lay my photos on my paper until I find the combination that seems to work for me. From there, my normal is to grab one main photo and possibly some smaller supporting photos and position them on the page. Then comes the magic. Here are some tips that I use to get the basic after I get my basic page set up. Misting and splattering. This is a wonderful way to add color, interest, layers, or to just fill up an empty area. For example, my layout, It's a Beautiful Day, would be quite plain without the use of the splattering. Sewing. I never touched my sewing machine before I became a scrapbooker. I actually gave it away. Now I love to sew on my layouts, as in this layout, I believe in love, where the sewing serves to give me a place to journal and corral my different elements so that they aren't floating around on the page. Banners. I love banners. They are fun, they can be used on any type of layout, and they can help fill spots that just need a little something. In my layout, Who Are We Today, the grid design and the white space could have given off a strict feel, but the banner serve to, serves to give some fun to the layout, just as my son gives fun to our lives. Fussy cutting. I love to fuzzy cut designs from my papers. It allows me to use the beautiful designs that the manufacturers created in a controlled way and fill in the spaces on my layouts that might be too plain without something else. My layout, It's All a Blur, is a wonderful example of my tendencies to cut everything. The doily designs were all cut from the gorgeous Simple Stories papers in an effort to match the blur of my life that my daughter captured so well. Clustering. I have found that by making clusters around my picture and elsewhere on my layouts, I can draw the viewer's eyes around the page. An example of clustering would be this layout, Thankful for You, where I also use sewing to enhance the various clusters. And lastly, diagonals. This is probably my most used trick, and I don't even think about it because it just happens. I have found that the best way to embrace white space is to have a picture and then some other element or elements diagonally across from the photo, such as the birdcage. In my layout, Love Never Fails, I had used a sketch from Lily Bee that still needed something, and so I added in the birdcage, hexagons, flowers, and then the bird to balance the heaviness of the photo area. I hope you have enjoyed this glance into my thoughts and you are able to pinpoint your style and embrace it fully. Happy creating.